Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Rodan. And today, as you can see, I'm still continuing my Disney movie marathon where I'll be talking about the movies, obviously TV shows, merchandising, I don't know, whatever the case may be. If it's related to Disney in any shape or for it, form, of course I'll be talking about it, for, of course, folks. So, alright, for this video I'll be responding to an article, and I haven't done one of these in a good while, so here we go. So, it's in regards of Inside It Out, too. I mean, I know, I know, again, I'm doing this. This is like, the, what, the fourth video I'm, I'm talking about this? It just, it just feels like I'm milking it at this point. So, here we are, of course. But anyway, so I just thought I'd talk about this, because there was this article that was released by Screen Rant, and it's just the way they, I don't know, it, just, it doesn't make any sense, really. But, okay, obviously, the... Film, it became Disney's biggest su success in good, a good long while. So, this in, this movie, in a lot of ways, at least brought some hope in the brand. Because, like I was saying before, a lot of the recent, a lot of the recent projects have not been quite successful. Just flop after flop after flop. Which, yes, the article does mention is the fact that it's a success. But anyway, at the rallies deep, dark secret reveal makes a popular Inside Out theory less likely? Like, okay. Like, what, what are you trying to get at, really? I, I don't I don't get it. And, and why does it have to be dark? Why does it have to be so gloomy? Why does it have to be so gloomy, so uh, macabre? Uh, why does it have to be so, like, morbid and whatnot? It just seems a little dire. It just seems really odd that they were really worried that way. It's so pessimistic, and it's just lacking hope and promise and whatnot. And okay, so really, Riley's deep dark secret in Inside R2 has isn't what fans expected. Yes, this of course it comes to the LGBT plus community. And again, yes, there was some disappointment in the fact that. Riley isn't bi or lesbian or whatever you can think of, you can think of pansexual or whatever else a sexual you can think of, I guess. Um, and okay, why does it have to be gloomy? I mean, yes, there are fans out there that are disappointment that the character isn't that way, and at least the film does, doesn't confirm it to be that way anyway to begin with. So there was that, I guess. I don't know, whatever. Yes, I do realize that the religious nut jobs don't want. Riley to be anything other than straight. She has to be straight. She has to be straight. She has to be straight. Yada, yada, yada. I believe both sides of the argument here are missing the point. Yes, both sides can be wrong. Of course. And, okay, a slight note here. There's nothing inherently wrong. Okay, I've said this in my previous video already. And I feel like I've already... I feel like I'm repeating myself. But anyway, I'll just say it again here for those who have not seen my previous video. Yes, of course, there's nothing inherently wrong with wanting to have representation in the movie. I'm all for it, sure. But, again, like I said in one of my previous videos, don't read it into something that's not there. And like I said before, I know a lot of people are thinking or assuming that, oh, she's this way or that way. At best, her sexual orientation is ambiguous. And because, considering the fact that her sexual orientation is, a, is completely irrelevant. It's not the point. I mean, yes, of course, when you're reaching of an age, of course, you can start questioning yourself. You can get anxious. Of course, you do want to give a good impression in high school. This, this is your first day. Your first day in high school. Of course, it's going to be somewhat stressful. Uh, maybe something's more stressful than others, depending on who you are, I guess. De depending on the circumstance of the situation, of course. But point being, yes... Everybody wants to have a good first impression, and everybody wants to make friends and whatnot, which in itself doesn't have to be a bad thing, of course, and obviously, but it's going to be stressful, of course, and Riley herself, she's freaking out, and she's wondering, what should she do, and she's hearing this about this popular kid, and this very popular kid is part of this, this hockey team that she wants to get into, and of course, she wants to leave a, good, a very, very good impression on this popular kid, just so she can be part of her team. And that's fine. There's nothing wrong with wanting to be part of a team or not. But then the whole thing with peer pressure and whatnot. At the end of the day, Inside Out 2 is basically this. 
coming of age story, right? That's what this ultimately is. Ultimately, at the end of the day, it's she's still coming to terms that life changes. Life can't be how it was in how it was in middle school. Life is not how it was when you were like maybe eight years old, nine, or what have you. Things change. Not just your body, not just mentally, but life in general will change. It's not going to be how it was before, of course. And this movie goes into a the theme that things not going to be as easy, of course. This article goes on to say that Inside Out 2 reveals that Riley has a deep dark secret, except that it doesn't. That's not in the movie at all whatsoever. But in the sequel, it makes one popular Inside Out theory less likely. And, like, what are you talking about here exactly? I don't get it. What this trying to get at, really? So, okay, this so-called theory and whatnot, it's just... I mean, this, this article does briefly talk about the story, but I do mean really briefly. Okay, so yeah, the film apparently takes place several years after the first film, even though it's not really that m long after, really. I want to just make a short span of time, really. Leading to many theories regarding what had happened to Riley in the years that had been, I guess, skimmed over between the two films. One theory stood out Bob the Rich, according to, according to the article, stating that the most popular and why Inside Out 2 doesn't explain confirm it, but less likely. Okay, the wording here is, is, is kind of repetitive here. But anyway, it goes on to explain that Inside Out 2 has finally been released, like, no kidding, with uh, the film being a uh, sequel that a lot of people want to see, of course, obviously, to the f Pixar's beloved film from 2015, and now that for viewers to see. So, okay, we already know that. So, okay, it, so at this point, those, those new emotions, which, of course, you can guess yourself, that's what you think. So, of course... And obviously these new emotions will take over the control panel and they will cause a ruckus in a lot of ways. In other words, they're running a rampage and whatnot. But again, what is this dark theory we're talking about? It's of course, like I said before, I already said it already. It's the fact that she, she's being theorized and she's part of the LGBT plus community. But what, what's so dark about that? What's so gloomy about this kind of thing? I have no idea. How is this like something super depressing exactly? I don't know. But that's what this article, it just keeps beating her head with that. Something to do with gay stuff, gay, gay, gay. So, and then there's like, something in regards to that, of course. And it, this article is terrible, it just beats you the head over and over. Something to do with gay people, something to do with lesbian, bisexual, and whatnot. Like, none of this is in the movie. I mean, if it was, so what? And I'm not complaining about the fact that it's in there. My, what I'm complaining about is just these people like this are reading way too much into something that's not there. It's that she burned a rug? Like, what are you talking about? I know the article is attempting to act as if that there was some, something deep about this, something menacing. Like, what? All right. I mean, yes, when it comes to that age, when you're 13, 14, and one out around this age, if you do something super embarrassing, of course you want to keep to yourself. Of course... You don't want to tell your friends, your peers, your teachers, or, or even your parents. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of things that someone around that age had done something really, I guess, really rebellious, maybe. They just want to keep to themselves, which is a normal human reaction. A lot of kids have done that, actually. Is that what you're referring to? Like, she did some embarrassing stuff? And yes, the movie does get into the whole idea that she did do something super embarrassing, and she doesn't want to tell people, which, again, is very normal. And what's so dark of being part of the LGBT community? You have not, this article has not explained anything. As if it's so bleak, so clueless, so avoid, devoid of cheer or comfort or whatnot. Like, so, it's utterly disheartened. Like, what? Anyway, thanks for watching, folks, and take care. See ya. Oh, yeah.